What's up, Eagles fans? Welcome into the Film Room presented by Lincoln Financial Group. I'm Fran Duffy, and today we're going to take a look at new Eagles running back Kerryon Johnson, who the Eagles picked up on waivers recently from the Detroit Lions. Now, Kerryon Johnson, former second-round pick out of Auburn. I really loved him watching him in college level. He was a grinder. He had good vision, protected the football, and he also was really good in the passing game, both as a blocker and as a receiver. We're going to see a little bit of that here in this breakdown. Just five plays over the last couple of years during his time in Detroit, but one thing that really stands out to me, his ability to create his own yards. This is a good example against the San Diego Chargers at this time. You got a pressure here and watch. You've got a blitzing linebacker right in his face. He's about to get the football and he's got a white jersey screaming at him. And just watch what Carrion's able to do in the backfield. As soon as his first step, he's already got to create. He spins out of contact, gets out of two defenders. This is only a short game. But those kind of yards add up. And that's one of the things that always stood out to me is his ability to kind of create his own yardage when things are not blocked well. He has the ability to turn what could be a two-yard loss into a three-yard gain, a one-yard gain into a four- or five-yard gain. You love having that from that kind of a back, and you'll always see that from Kerryon Johnson. Here's another example of exactly that. They're going to fake a zone scheme to his right. It's going to be a play-action pass, so here goes Kerryon Johnson. He's going to act as if he's taking the run to the right. This is just going to be a play-action screen where Matthew Stafford's going to drop back. He's going to hit Kerryon in the flat here on this little check down. And now again... He turns, he's got a defender right in his face. He's going to make, make that man miss. Jumps through that. I'm going to make another man miss. All right, so there's two guys down. He'll make a third guy miss. He should have been tackled three different times there. Instead of being tackled for a two-yard gain, it's a, it's a nine-yard gain. Those kind of things add up, and that's one of the things that I've always loved about Carrion Johnson. We're going to see one more play here in the pass game as a receiver. Now, you're going to get what's called a double A-gap pressure look here. Okay, so you've got a passing down where you've got two linebackers lined up right in the A-gaps, all right? So I want to show this because we're going to see this over the next couple of plays. Carryon Johnson's going to step up here and act as if he's going to block, all right? So he's going to step up, act as if he's going to block, he's going to bluff out, and he's going to catch this little screen pass from Stafford. So they set up a really nice screen. He's got soft hands. He always catches the rock. He's been a really reliable receiver. You see him shake off contact here once again. Nice play in the screen game. He's always been a productive receiver wherever he's been. And the other big reason for that is that he's always on the field on third down because he's a great receiver. He's also a great blocker. One of the best running back blockers, pass protectors in the league right now. Here's a great example from last year against Arizona. Again, you get that same look, that same double-A gap pressure look from Arizona. Now, the way that teams typically do this is you're going to have these two defenders are going to be accounted for by your center and your running back. All right, so Carryon Johnson has a big responsibility here. You do not want one of these linebackers coming scot-free at your quarterback. They are right in his face. So you do not want, those guys, want any of those guys to come in clean. So it is up to the center and the back to handle them. So depending on which way they go, the center might open up this way, and now the running back's going to have to block here, or they'll cross it. So the center will block to his right, and the running back will cross the quarterback and block the backside. That's exactly how they're going to do it here. Now, ultimately, the way that it's going to look is that the – the offensive line is always going to zone block one way. So this is going to be zone. This is going to be man. So Carryon Johnson is going to be in man-to-man -man against the former Eagle there in Jordan Hicks. Watch the, watch the pass pro here from Carryon Johnson. He sticks Jordan Hicks here. Great technique. Great play strength. Shocks the blitzer. Stops him cold. You get a great catch here, a potential catch over the middle. But outstanding protection from Carryon Johnson here. Really one of the better reps you're going to see. And what I love from that is just the, the execution was outstanding against that double-A gap look. Here, you're going to get a little bit of a different look. It gets the same pressure front, right? So you got Minnesota, double-A gap pressure look, same thing. But again, it's going to be up to the running back in the center to handle these two players. How are they going to do it this time? Well, the last time we saw, we saw the, the center open right and the back crossed face, right? He handled the guy on the left. Well, this time, you're going to get the center they're going to all zone block that way. The offensive line is going to man block this way, which means you've got Carryon Johnson man-to-man -man against number 50, that linebacker right there. That's Eric Wilson. All right, so he's going to step up, and he's going to have to try and pin Derek Wilson. But here's the problem. Minnesota is running a great stunt where you're going to have Eric Wilson pinned down, and you're going to have this linebacker loop. That means that the running back has got to be able to pick up that looping blitzer. He's got to pick up that extra linebacker, 48. If he doesn't do it, 48's coming home clean to the quarterback. And you can see the center, he's not blocking anybody right now. So essentially, Carryon Johnson's got to block two defenders here from Minnesota. 
He gets his hands on 50. 50 is not trying to, he, all he's doing is trying to set up 48. Carry on reads it perfectly. He's right, he steps up. He's able to make sure he puts his hands on 50. That's fine. I want to make sure I get the real blitzer here in 48. He squares up, allows Matthew Stafford to deliver this throw over the middle, and you get a first down to Danny Amendola. Just an awesome job by Carryon Johnson in pass pro, and you see that consistently from him on film. So this is a guy who can create his own yards. He's a good downhill between the tackles runner, takes care of the football, really good on third down. He catches everything thrown his way, and he's really good in pass protection. He's a young player, recent second-round pick just a couple of years ago out of Auburn. Really excited to see him compete here this spring and this summer with this Philadelphia Eagles offense. Thanks so much for joining us once again in the film room presented by Lincoln Financial Group. I'm Fran Duffy. We will talk to you soon. We're going to continue breaking down all the newest Eagles right here in the film room.